we're gonna play Getting Over It. We're gonna play Rob of Ages Two with Rocker, <laughs> and we're gonna play Quiplash today with. I mean, we haven't really asked anybody else, so we'll see who ends up joining us for that. <laughs> So getting over it is now like finally out, and it's the first time I think we've ever had the situation where people have actually tweeted us and been like, "Wow, it was like way harder than I actually thought it was going to be." <laughs> Normally, the game comes out and people are like, "Oh yeah, I beat the final boss on expert in like two seconds, and you guys are garbage." Now people actually like have respect for our Ooh. skills now. Well, I uh, I want to mention by the way, I have uh, Angelic Knight in my chat made a mod of a gold hammer for me. I just haven't had time to install it yet. In this but I game? intend to wear that soon as I can, yeah. Can you just... Thank oh you for doing that. Fuck. Can you just do I'm in that? The... Can you just, like, replace the image in the folder he... with a different image? No, he, like, decompiled it and found where the graphics were and then overrode the textures mm. with a shader or oh, something. Oh, so he's a hacker. So... Yeah, he's a hacker. Are they hacking? Basically, basically the best in the world as well. Nick, I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna ban you from chat. No, no chat, the trick I mean, is you do some me. cyber crimes and then... You rat on all your other people, and you get a job at the government paying you, like, six figures a year. <laughs> Programming is full of things that uh, sound way cooler than they are. For example, the mean stack. You want to learn some that JavaScript? That sounds amazing! You got to learn the mean stack. What does mean stack stand for? That's well, a... Mongo database, uh, Angular, Node.js. I can't remember what E is, but... Angular Mongos? Trust me. Wait. The mean stack sounds cool. <laughs> In how practice, do I sign up for the meme stack? The meme stack? That, that's you know how many? I've gone in unreal. the loop of Orange Hell back to Box Hell probably about 200 times. Nick. Yeah. <laughs> I like how your end point is like as high as I've ever gotten. Like when you fail, you land at the peak of my accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got the oh. box land? <sighs> I'm going to slow down. Slow down is not advice. Be better it's good is advice. advice for me. I made it, it above fucking the Grundle. They're and saying I... speed up? Can, can right, someone explain to me what the Grundle is? Because I don't know if Josh is familiar with all of our terminology. It's Grundle's the just before the chimney. No, the Grundle is the chimney. No, the Grundle is not the chimney. The I chimney the... is the chimney. And it's now the Grundle. It's not the Grundle. The Grundle is the girder. The Grundle's the girder? Yeah. Is that? All right. Because we don't need I mean, another name for the chimney because it's already called the Devil's Chimney. I like calling it the Devil's Grundle, though. Just ask Dylan. He doesn't take any of this shit at all. Uh, on Saturday, we did a one-shot D&D campaign. Really? Yeah. What? The first time I've ever done that, and that was fun. Was and that like IRL? It was indeed in real life. Did you... Uh, what? What... What version of D and D? I have no idea. Did you have like? Did you have daily five? powers, or did you just like roll the dice and be like, "I want to swing my hammer"? We rolled the That's dice and said, "I okay. want to swing my hammer." It's it's probably five. Yeah. It's See, this is five. why, you know, these are questions I can't. It's the first time I've ever played D and D. What version? Yeah, that's is okay. It? Oh, it's AD and D it's... version five point using the mean stack. Okay. Well, AD sure. and D is like version two. How would that's I know? What, these are not relevant questions. Yeah, For the dude, first you time you've about? ever it's... played D and D, these are not hey, relevant advanced, questions. Though. It's advanced D and D. It's not regular. So it's obviously yeah. version revision two. Hey, fuckhead! The first time five. I played it, I knew what it was. Oh, I that this gatekeeping. What you're doing right now is gatekeeping. It's a real no, Rick and Morty move right asking, now. It's asking you a simple question. I don't and know. It's not a simple question because I didn't make the campaign. That's you don't have to make the campaign to make oh, it. Sorry, can you tell me the, oh, they, I'm they, feeling look physical at the version number of by the rules. Hey, what, what, what browser do you use right now, Josh? Hey, Josh, what, what what browser do you use right now? Chrome. Google no, but Chrome. what what version of Chrome is it? Version uh, twelve point zero three five six seven uh, with the built-in JavaScript precompiler. Yes. Nobody cares. I played the idea. Swung just asked my me, and I told you yes. I swung my warlock hammer around. Look, I had a fun time playing D and D. Now Good. that I'm talking about it with you, you just diminish it by half a point. Congrats <laughs> yeah, on your gatekeeping. You. Congrats on your gatekeeping. <laughs> I'm going to end your career. <laughs> it turns out know. if you're two, you actually oh, cannot because... gamble at a casino. Yeah, they don't know the rules of craps. You have to be... Oh, I, dude, I don't know the rules of craps. Little me kids know the rule of crapping constantly. When, uh, when I was in Vegas for Champions of Fire, me and a friend of mine played some craps, and he was trying to explain the rules as we went. 
And the lady, I don't know what you call him, the raker? Whatever. <laughs> That's not what you want to call me. Just whatever whatever <laughs> she was. <laughs> the raker. She was, like a, <laughs> she was, yeah, she was like a villain from a movie. So I'd be like, oh, you know, here I'm throwing my chips on seven. And she'd be like, you can't throw on seven because there was a nine last time. And I'd be like, oh, sorry. And she'd be like, well, you can't touch the chips now. The chips are already on the table. After like five minutes, we just left. <laughs> We were, we were like, screw this, this lady, she's not being inclusive. That's... <laughs> Craps seems like the dumbest game as a result of that experience. Yeah, I, I wish I understood Craps. It's all just... It's, it's just stupid. Yeah. She was gatekeeping. Absolutely true. I hate gatekeepers. You are a gatekeeper! Oh yeah, that's right. Why don't they just yeah. have a game where you put a bunch of chips on the table and you flip a coin? That's Would pretty that much blackjack, bad to be odds? honest with you. Yeah, but, like, the rules can still be complicated for some people, I imagine. If, I, yeah. If you can't fathom the rules of blackjack, get the hell out of the casino. What All should right. you do, then, to gamble? You should, guess, that's you should save your money. That, I, that's gatekeeping. Fuck. But it's, like, productive gatekeeping. <laughs> it is gatekeeping. That's good gatekeeping. That's, like, that's, that's gate not, tending. No. That's gate tending. <laughs> I'm tending to the gate to ensure okay. that you don't go into forbidden territory. No, you're full of shit. You're a gatekeeper. I'm gate tending. No, you you're place, not gate. Get your gate tendies out of here. Does anybody else ever feel like the same way about casinos that I do about strip clubs? Where it's like I'm a little sad when I'm in it. Yeah. Okay. One hundred percent. Just checking. Well, the, I hated the one time I was strip in strip clubs club a lot more than. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with that. And then, I'll be honest with you. This is gatekeeping, but. <laughs> There's just something about like there's something about like with blackjack you're like almost doing something with your brain with yeah. slots you're like I'm gonna push this button and then like some chemicals are gonna come out of my brain <laughs> it's like a, an actual <laughs> it's a literal Skinner box I hear like McDonald's is like hey here we got this Chinese sauce come eat it. And people were like, all right, let me get in line. But then, like, there was a lot of people, and then they got mad when there wasn't yeah, the there sauce. Wasn't, there wasn't enough sauce to go around. Why? Be because they didn't and, make but, enough like, sauce. I saw, like, people, like, making signs and shit. Like, there was, like, a protest. Yeah. Like, they were protesting McDonald's. So you pretty much got it. For what? What were they? They wanted They wanted the McNugget sauce. They wanted the sauce. They didn't get I... the sauce. They wanted the sauce. That's stupid. No, but But McDonald's promised... The sauce, Josh. I don't care. I'll promise them my sauce. Doesn't mean I'm gonna give it to you. They, if you read they between the promises. lines of the press release, they promised the sauce. Okay. Right. Yeah, and they had the sauce. I'm sorry. There's just too many people. You were gonna say nerd, that, and that's fine. I, I know. I, I was, gotten I was gonna say. So I was gonna say something more offensive, but <laughs> thanks for calling me out. <laughs> There was a really profound series of tweets in reply to this controversy by uh, Master Mijin. So he said, so he went himself to this. And I, I love the way this pans out. If you follow the show, like, this is such a great way to respond to it. But he said, uh, two stores in my whole state got them in, didn't get them in till 2 p.m. And the store I went to only got 20. First guy in line was dressed in complete Rick cosplay. I was like eighth in line. Rick cosplay guy scammed the system and got all 20 for himself. <laughs> now, now oh, here, there's bullet points. Number one, that was disappointing. Fair enough. Number two, if that isn't exactly what Rick would do, I don't know what is. Fair, okay. Well said. Number three, that directly speaks to the actual pointlessness of standing in line. Very well said. Number four, Maybe could be used to speak on the pointlessness of everything in a way. Well, okay, that's felt, way too far. I felt reality kind of folding in on me when mm -hmm. I read that. That was really well said. Um, mm -hmm. I also, I mean, here's, here's, I think it's one of those things where, like, what actually happened is pretty minor. Wait, you guys have no Szechuan sauce? No. I want Szechuan sauce. Where's my Szechuan sauce? I'm Kendall Rick. What below the dumb dumb? I'm Kendall Rick. Brick! 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 I'm Pickle Brick! Brick! Brick!